So I want to explain how to make a post-processing of GNSS data uh, captured in the field. Um, actually, this is in the situation when you have no GSM coverage, which is what is quite often in the forests. Uh, and uh, you want to have a very precise uh, measurement. Uh, so if you want to calculate it, uh, you must generate a post-processing, which I want to explain step by step, but this is also important for me just to know how to do this in the future. So first what you must have are the data, actually these are the folder point. When I have the raw data in the RIMEX format, it's the data from the field. Remember it's about 15 minutes of data capture is minimum what you must have. The best would be of course more, so 20 minutes, uh, of course uh, one position per second. And the second thing which you must have are the reference station. Here I have free reference station data, uh, which I download from my local provider who has uh, reference stations. Yeah, so I can just download it from for the interval of the processing time which I need. Also what I have are coordinates. Coordinates are the original um, uh, original coordinates of all these free reference stations. So as you can see, I have free reference station and these are coordinates, uh, centroid coordinates, uh, which are also um, available from uh, and delivered, uh, which are also delivered from local provider. So first what I am going to do is just simply create a new job, set a name, and just click create. The most important are job configuration. So here in job configuration what I have to do is just to set the coordinate system. So in my case, uh, first of all, I am going to use my guide. Of course, for your country, you have to check your. In my case, of course, I have my own guide. So this is important if you want to have correct height. So that's the first thing. So as you can see, it's available on the list. And the next thing is coordinate system. In my case, I also am going also to use my local Polish coordinate system, which is 92. Uh, so this is important for me because actually I need X and Y in my local coordinate system finally. So I just click OK. So this is the config. Then I'm going to import the raw data. So in my case, uh, the raw data are in the RINEX format. So you can go to the import, and then you can select the uh, GPS observation uh, row. It is GPS plus raw data, and here I have RINEX format. So as you can see, it's very characteristic because uh, you can find where are your data actually. So in my case uh, it is located in the point and I select the file with an extension which ends on the O letter. So I click open and OK. And uh, because uh, it was recognized as a kinematic you can simply right click and convert it to static. So one point as you can see here we have the information about the satellite systems and so on. It's not so important for us. Everything may be collapsed here. So we have a point uh, uh, which was measured in the terrain. Then next what I'm going to import are the data for the reference station. So in my case it's in the second folder. And again what I have to do is just to select the file with the O letter and open. Okay, these are my reference uh, data, so you can clearly see that the reference are bigger than the point which was captured in the field. This is very important just to have a bigger data capture than actually what you are interested in for your point. Uh, so what we can see here are just our point and free reference station, it's ready. 
Uh, now I just have to select this free reference station because we have to stabilize it as a reference. So I just right click here on the selected data, then go to the properties and then the control will be in the both directions. So now I am absolutely sure that coordinates won't be changed during the post-processing. Next what I have to do is just to read the file which has actually the original coordinates for this reference station. So as I mentioned before, these are three uh, stations, actually that free. And here I have the very accurate coordinates, the centroid coordinates for this reference station. Uh, so I have it from my local provider. So this is a text file separated by the tabulator. So what I'm going to do is just to import this data. So in order to import this file, I go to import, then go to the folder with my data. So it's exactly here. And then I will select my format. This is actually coordinates. And here is my custom format, which I selected, which I created. So I select that. And I select coordinates. So you can see here this value will be changed actually. So I just open. Okay. So now my data are actually, my, now my coordinates are very accurate. So here are the connections between the uh, my point and the reference station. Of course, the actually localization, uh, it's not perfect, but uh, this is the only data which I could get. So I must use it because I have no other. So these are my free reference station with this blue triangle and these dots represent my points which I am interested to interest to measure. Uh, what I will do also here in the uh, GPS occupation, the antenna type, you can actually select your antenna if you know something about it. So actually you can click here and you can select it. I will select other. And I know that I have a Stonex, so my antenna is exactly here. So I have the model of my antenna. Uh, the high is correct of my antenna, so I remember that it was the correct uh, high. So everything here is quite okay. And finally, what you have to do is just to download the orbits. Uh, as you can see, it's unknown. High, it's unknown here. So uh, there is a method, just if you want to have a precise orbit, you can go to the import from internet, then search. So you can see I have a precise orbit here. So this is a file sp3. Uh, this is actually available here in this software. So you can import this file. And then you can see that the orbit's name changed to precise. This is very important uh, to have a precise orbit. Actually, uh, it's good to wait a little bit with the post-processing because actually the precise orbits are not available just in the same day when you just measured the coordinates. So it's better just to wait about one week, two weeks, just to wait for with post-processing and then you can download precise orbits. So you have to go to the process and here you have GPS post-processing. So now we have to wait. So as you can see, six vectors are processed, so are all green. And what we are actually very interested in are, are just located here uh, in the points. Uh, because here we have standard deviation of uh, on the north, on the east and on the high. So finally, if you want to see the coordinates in your coordinate system, you must go here on the right bottom here and select the ground. Click somewhere here. Then you have to select from the known uh, your destination coordinate system, in my case in 92. So when you click, you can see the final coordinates in X and Y and Hi, of course, expressed in geoid. Of course, if you want to finish it, you must make an adjustment. 
So in adjustment you can see uh, actually the final results, so I just click finish. So here you can see the final adjustment results, so it's very very good, so I just click OK. So now you can see which vectors are accepted, which are not. So in my case it looks quite OK. And finally uh, you can actually export your data. You have to go to report then uh, export what you want to export adjustment or gps observation or points whatever you want you can set your own uh, export uh, format whatever you want so generally i use an excel because i am more interested in the excel and actually uh, what i export is just the points so as you can see the points I am interested in, in the options you can see what will be export actually in the points. So this is what I am interested in. Now of course you can modify it if you want, so if you want to have more, for example uh, apart from the longitude and latitude and x and y, you can add also standard deviation here uh, for the precision just to know what's going on for horizontal and for the time. So I just click here. Okay, so this is my local uh, local format. So I just click close. Uh, so I will export, execute report points, and here you can see the final report. It looks like that. So I have actually the precision. I have the coordinates of my point. Of course, I have also the reference station, but it's not modified because I selected. It shouldn't be modified. That's the end of the process.